Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's DJ New, and Updated Mods are here, and today we've got plenty for everyone. As far as all of them goes, we've got 21 mods in total that were released today. For all platforms, we've got 6 new and 13 updates, and PC and Mac players have 1 new and 1 update. We're going to load up each mod in the store, we're going to look at its customization, and we'll also go over all the mods that got updates at the end of the video. Timestamps to everything is linked in the description. Oh, I can't wait to show you guys these. Let's jump in. Starting off today with new mods for all platforms, we have the Lizard XJ from Dominic. This is the same mod creator who made the uh, uh, the John Deere 4755 with like 800 horsepower. Ring a bell? Oh yeah. This bad boy has got 350 horsepower. We got a manual transmission inside, 80 liters of fuel, 136 mile per hour max speed, and it weighs 6.1 tons if that matters. Configurations, we have standard and auto load, then auto load unreal. So we have 10,000 or 100,000 liters for auto load. And as you can see down here at the very bottom, we have auto load for all of your standard productions in the game. And I'm guessing for a few things as well through there. Yeah, those are platinum productions right there. So all of your platinum productions, as well as all your standard base game crops, including normal crops. Wow. Uh, somebody put bulk on there, didn't they? Yes, they did. Even logs, it'll do auto-loading. Goodness gracious. That's cool. All right, moving on. Uh, engine configurations, we have 350 or 750 horsepower engine. And you go with the 750, of course. Will Brands, we have Continental. We also have BKT and Michelin tires, as well as Nuckin and Lizewa. Uh, Those are the ones I want, though. Yeah, I want those. I don't care about any of the other ones. In Continental, we have Standard. We got Design 1, Design 2, Design 3. Those are mud bogging tires if I ever saw it. And we continue to go through all the way up. Now, that's as big as it goes in Continental. If we jump over to BKT, we have some different setups here. Only a few different ones, though. In Michelin, Standard. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I'm just going to do this in the store. Oh. I'm gonna I'm gonna bug it out. Let's not do that. And not yet, we do have a couple setups. Well, are those Tractor Kings? That's awesome. <laughs> uh, so you got a Tractor Kings if you want them. Do love that. Actually, this looks like some dude's truck that I uh, used to, <laughs> used to go to school with. Uh, hold, get out of here! Really? I love it. <laughs> Bumper on the front. We've got a brush guard. We got off road and back to standard again. Window tent. We got a dark or a light. Side steps. Yes or no? Just go with yes. Beacon. You could even throw a beacon on here if you feel like going to deliver some mail. The roof has got a roof rack. We also have a snorkel. Both of them or not a of them. Winch. Oh yeah. You can throw a winch on the front. You can throw a winch on the back. And you can throw a winch on the both. Hub colors. Oh yeah. Uh. So I have a color configurator mod turned on right now, but these are, uh-oh, uh-oh, it's freaking out. It's freaking out. We're good. We're good. Uh, this is Tiffany, but it's not. It's toothpaste. Thanks, man. <laughs> I see you, Dom. <laughs> we also have main colors through here as well. So we got a couple through there. And I'll see design. I wonder what design is. Let's change that up. Toothpaste. Ah, ha, ha, all the way down through the bottom. Very nice. Bumper colors are bumper colors. That's going to change through the top. Um, not sure what this one is. Let's go orange. Oh. Oh, that's that's a lot of it. And then rim colors, of course, are rim colors. And even if you choose tracks, you can still throw on some rim colors. And of course, you got your license plate. This is one wild and wacky thing right here. And I think I'm in love. Next up, we've got something else that's pretty sweet. This is the Biffa Shortwood Platform. Now, I think think that this is a brand new brand of farming simulator i can't be quite sure about that because they haven't said anything but i will say that well you've got this this is neat so as you can see from the very bottom it doesn't hook up to anything because this is a fifth wheel hitch attachment yes oh yeah so we have a stack in position we got all those main color on here green too we know what color that is just call it toothpaste and let's move on we've also got a couple other colors for other bits and bobs and of course we got to claw and there's a license plate on here as well so if i were to get one of those and then we're going to back out. We're going to go to semi-trucks. Now, you can probably choose any of these that you want to. But for fun, we are going to go right here with just the base Volvo Tandem Short. We'll jump in here real quick, and we will hook up to it. By the way, um, 
that uh that jeep right there the winches only work if you've got your uh stuff oh it's uh don't read into this too much but it's not long enough all right so we need the tandem long, the very 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 long one <laughs> they do say that it's suitable for four axle versions of the volvo fh16 for the platinum dlc however it can be moved over third party control group so that it fits other vehicles that are the appropriate length so there you go how nifty is that you can use it with a lot of stuff let's turn on the help window real quick uh let's see we've got a fold and unfold crane so we can control things but as you can see here we can move bits and bobs through there as well which makes it kind of nice very cool i like this next up we have the brochured pack this is from nico do 55 they do some really really good stuff and very cool seeing this brand in the game for all platforms as well so we have four different trailers so we got one that goes between 9917 8 15 and 27 1933 and 22 and 30 seven point everything so we're just going to show off customization for this because customization is basically the same for all of them so we have the white without argo wagon we have red without argo wagon white and auger wagon yeah so you got auger on the very back or you got the red version of that very cool also you own counter plus one transfer <laughs> to the wheels we have a trailer board wheels a michelin bkt for a stein nook in and back in again now we can change up those michelin tires we got a couple different versions there i do like those we've also got bkt's with a couple different options that's nice for this time we got some different options through there as well very very cool decals we got the old ones and the new ones basically changes it up from matching the uh the trailer colors themselves to black and white side markers we got Side go rear, double, young, <laughs> double no, and back in again. They're very, very tiny, so they don't make a huge difference. Beacon lights, I'm guessing these are going to be on the very back as well. Yep. One on the left, we've got a couple different styles and sizes, even a short LED and white LED and back in. Rear lights, we've got the singles or doubles. We also have single two and double two and single three and double three. Back to standard again. Side marker bodies. We got the reflectors or not other reflectors. Rear working lights, we do have those if you need them. Highly suggest getting those. Warning signs, are these on the back too? Man, it's just everything's customization on the back. Capacity, this should have been the first customization option, but here we are. You've got a standard, you got your green bodywork, silage bodywork, and back down again. And mud guards, we're, we're back to the back again. A license plate. No fooling about, this is exactly what it is in the name. The Lizard Gravity Wagon. This will hold 8,000 liters of all of your standard, uh, well, I was going to say auger wagon crops, but uh, no, 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 this is bulk, so it'll hold forage as well. They do say that you can hook multiple of these together via the trailer hitch that we've got on the very back. As far as customizations, we have a main color. Let's go with purple for that. Then we have design color. Let's go orange. It looks like this is just going to be the back part. And then room colors. We'll go yellow. So there you go. And you can customize these however you like. Plus, we got the license plate. Finally, we can store or from Tompe's 888, we have the small iron ore silo. You can fill this up with iron ore or stones. Oh, yeah. Uh, and it also has a refill auger for filling at the push of a button. So we come over here and we can actually buy those. So iron ore, it's free. It's actually free and you don't have to sit around and wait. So if you're looking for a quick way to get iron ore, this is it. Please go download small iron ore silo right now. We could buy, uh, what is that? Up to 100,000 liters at a time. Boom. Easy, easy, easy. You can also buy stones as well, though. I'm not sure why you'd want to do that, but you can. And your last new one for all platforms today is the Specialty Country Restore. This is a local specialized market for the locals and carries basic staples and other items provided from your local farmers. You can sell select grains and products for more than fair market prices and also available to their shoppers. AO uh, is going to be a couple other things as well. There's a charging station for EVs. Nice. Staying, uh, staying very, very modern and relevant with that. And you can get your vehicle maintenance here as well really where at i didn't see a uh see a little bit for it did did you guys see one are there different versions of this 
Uh, maybe it's in here. Let's take a look. Nope, that's not it. So it says that it's in uh, selling points, but I wonder if there are multiple versions of this. So it's not going to be there. Nothing in containers, nothing in farmhouses, production. Selling point seems to be the only place that, uh, that we're seeing anything. It says with charging station. So, oh. Well, I'm a bit of an idiot, aren't I? Uh, as far as what can you sell here, uh, you've got wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflowers, soybeans, corn, potatoes, sugar, honey, sugar beet, cut, eggs, uh, seeds, sugar cane, pig food, olives, mineral feed, flour, bread, cake, butter, cheese, fabric, clothing, cereal, fair and sunflower oil. Does that say flan sour? I don't know. Canola oil, olive oil, grapes, raisins, grape juice, chocolate, strawberries, lettuce, and tomato. And outgoing materials is electric charge. Uh, kind of sounded like you could buy other stuff from here, but... Well, I guess not. Making our way over to mod updates for all platforms. The first is the map Gross Mordoff. This is version 1. One added road traffic, added pedestrians, more driveways have been created, improved the helper splines for better pathfinding. AI should now be able to drive to all loading and unloading stations without any problems. That's great. Also installed more decorative objects and the workshop's been changed now with livery and sales function. Very cool. Next, we got an update to the very popular Green River. This is version 1.0.11. 1. Warning! New save game is required. So right off the bat, before you even see it, if you're playing on this and you want the update, you're going to have to delete your save. What they've done is they fixed the buying animals, the map triggers, default map buildings now also remain in multiplayer, that's good, and selling standard map buildings. So if you want all that, you're going to have to get a new save game. If you don't want those, well, just keep playing. You'll be all right. Another very popular map that's been around for what feels like three or four games at this point. New Bartle Shotgun version 1201. They fixed a bug. Map did not appear in multiplayer. Also added pedestrians. The workshop has been changed now with livery and sales function and approved the helper splines for better pathfinding just like the other map. Next, we got an update to the 669 Buncher version 1.001. .001. They've slowed down the cutting speed for increased time to grab the tree. No longer is it instantaneous. They've also got a new store option for tuned motor. They have a new store option for tinted windows. By the way, that uh, tuned motor is 2,000 horsepower. They also decreased the lag between the machine and the attachment. Added 82 Studios color palette. Decreased the head claws closing distance so it doesn't glitch out on the trees closing too tightly as well we've got new attachment a thinning head that's kind of nice and tweaked the head collisions another super popular mod and one of the first tractors i ever drove this was the international farm all h series from ey modding version 1 1 Fix the hand throttle stick issue and change the center mass of the tractor. Next is the Metal Tech DBL pack. Now this is not showing because it was kind of removed, got an update, put back on, something like that. Not quite sure what's going on, but I do know he's got another update out right now as well, so maybe that'll tell us. And that's for the Metal Tech DB pack. He's added new rims, new wheels, added a spare for the DB6, optional sides, bell configuration, and new store and icon. I'm guessing that the changes that were made to the other pack are very similar. Next, we have an update to the carry pack version 1.1. They've added the Neolab Eco modification of texture and minor 3D correction. Our next update for all platforms is the Hand Lawnmower version 1.0. One. They added a new configuration for closed flap, grass ejection to the side, or grass catcher. And they say when selecting the new configurations, added grass ejection effect and changed where it appears. Also, of course, changed the mod description. Adub Shovel got updated. This is version 1.1. They've updated Mod Desk, made the handle and rod color configurable, lowered the file size, and redid the store and mod icon. It is now point zero seven megabytes that's so tiny the very cool simple farm silo from bk mods got updated version 1.1 he added an indoor area to keep snow out of the shed next to last farmhouse version 1101 fix the bit mask on the door and your last mod update for all platforms today is the fuel tank pack this is version 1.1 forgot to scroll down there we go uh, they've added the bought with farmland and added light blue and gray colors and your only new mod for pc and mac players today is not the lizard xj but it does have something to do with its colors if you guys saw very beginning in the video uh, I accidentally showed you guys the color customization option 
and check this out. So this mod allows you to personalize the color of your machines, any color that you can using a simple interface, which you can see yeah, you can set any color or material that you like. So we have a full RGB color customization. We've also, oh yeah, and you could type in the uh, RGB. So if you've got the RGB code, you can put it in. We also have a uh, painted metal, painted plastic, chrome, copper, galvanized metal, rubber, old painted metal, fabric, scratched silver, bumpy silver, Fabric again, fabric again, leather, leather again, wood, dirt, painted metal, painted plastic, rough silver, scratched brass with reflector. Yeah, with reflector too. Yellow reflector, daylight reflector, rough plastic, leather again, <laughs> perforated fabric, glass clear. Yeah, I'm definitely doing that. Glass square, glass line, palladium, bronze, painted metal, dirty metal, shiny plastic, Gold, rough painted metal. You guys done with this yet? I'm still gonna keep going. Perforated fabric. Feel? What? Feel? I don't know what that is. Corrugated metal, shiny car paint, fabric again, wood again, shiny scratch silver, yellow reflector again, circular brushed metal, patterned rubber, shiny plastic, less shiny chrome, fabric again, painted metal. Goodness, where was glass? I want to paint this glass. Here we go. Uh, glass squared off. Glass clear. Apply. Boo. I wanted a glass thing. Did I, did I hit the button right? Custom color? Boo. Anyway, uh, you guys saw that? You can do whatever you want. It's insane. And your last mod today, an update for PC and Mac players to the Agrimet Warfama N237-1, version 1001. Machine name corrected, wheels have been changed, and bugs related to animations have been corrected. Well, guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new and join the Gohan fam. Do all the YouTube-y stuff that way. YouTube is happy. We also released Farm Some News a little bit earlier today talking about the new John Deere compact tractor. So definitely check it out if you haven't seen it already. Otherwise, hope you have an awesome day. We'll see you guys later. Peace.